A portion of this video is sponsored by Micro Center. So recently, I've been watching a lot of videos of people using nail guns to open up locks on YouTube. And I was super excited to try this myself, but one of the guys said, So don't try this at home. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> oh boy, it's stuck. Okay, so that works better in the videos. Ugh. I'm trying to figure out why this didn't work, and uh, is there a chance that I might have done it wrong? Absolutely not. Let me show you how this nail gun works on the inside of it. So when you load a nail into it, and then you put a 22 caliber blank in the other end, when you set off the 22 caliber blank, it pushes on this piston here, and it drives the nail into literally whatever you want it to. This can drive a nail straight into concrete, into a lock. It can even nail a lock to the wall. So why can't it break through a lock? The answer is simple. This nail gun is a Look at this tiny captive piston powered by these stupid little blanks. The piston only sticks out like a quarter of an inch. I can't smash anything with this. Forget about the locks. I want to build something that can smash everything. I'm replacing these 22 blanks with military simulation blanks. So what about the piston? Are we still going to use a tiny little piston? Heck no, we're not going to use a tiny little piston. I'm going to be using a one inch hardened steel rod and making the same kind of captive piston design. But there's still one secret ingredient we need to make this all work. Gun. By attaching a gun and a fist onto this, we should be able to make the one punch gun. Okay, I just got done machining this thing, so let me show you how everything works and fits together. First, I made this part that slips over the barrel, and then I welded it down here and up here to secure it and to prevent the gases from, like, coming out of the gun. I want to harness all the energy in the blank that I can. Next, I made the new barrel, and it threads over the old one just like this. And then I made the piston, and the piston goes inside of the barrel just like that. You guessed it, and... Oh, what a nice fit that is. I could... <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. And then finally, a spring. And this was a... Th there was a pack of five springs I got on Amazon. It was 70 bucks for five of these springs. And they didn't even fit, so I had to grind the inside of them so they can fit over this one-inch hardened steel piston. So when the piston gets pushed forward by the blank cartridge, it's going to hit the end of the tube, hit this little stopper up here at the end of the tube, compress the spring, and then hopefully bounce back and reset into the barrel. I'm also hoping that the spring kind of acts like a shock absorber at the end of the tube, so when the piston comes forward, it doesn't just rip the end off of the tube. There's two things I'm worried about. Uh, number one is this thing just exploding, and number two, it's going to be really loud. So I'm going to go over to my friend's house and try this out. All right, we are locked and loaded, baby. Three, two... One. Hey, it worked! Three, two, one. Hey, it worked! Did that actually work? Oh! Oh, it worked, but it broke! I think it looks like it worked perfectly. It did. Oh, that's cool as shit. Okay, no big deal. So what happened was I had to cut the tube in half because I had to thread one side of it and the whole tube wasn't long enough to fit on the lathe. So I had to cut it in half, thread one half, and then weld it back together, and that's what failed, the weld in the middle. Not a problem though, it's an easy fix. I made a sleeve that fits over the tube and welded it, so now it's extra reinforced. All right, it's recording. So now I feel confident that it's not gonna explode, just, you know, explode right in my face. But uh, there's a lot of things that can still go wrong, basically. So I'm gonna wear a helmet and we're gonna just punch these bricks and hopefully nothing bad happens, all right? All right, are you ready? You I, want to stand, I don't know. Should he stand farther back? I'll, I'll go hide in the closet. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Dude! The end's gone! Oh my god! Oh, I didn't put the pin in the end. So the end just <laughs> off. Dude, that that's just, awesome! That destroyed, that destroyed those bricks. All right, now Steven is going to try splitting this log with the axe attachment. We'll see if this works. Three, two, one. Woo! That worked beautifully. Look at that beautifully split log. Oh. Perfect for your Christmas or campfire. Wow, I love it when something actually just works like this. <laughs> you know? I'm like, oh, it might be kind of lame because there's not as much powder uh, in the blank. No, but no, this is brilliant. This is awesome. So after we got it working, I spent the rest of the night trying to make it semi-automatic. And to do that, we needed to channel the gases from the blank cartridge back into the bolt to push it back to chamber the new round. It's actually a pretty simple system. I just have this brass fitting here that I threaded a bolt into, and then I drilled a hole through the bolt so you can thread it into the barrel right here. So now when the gases push the piston past a certain point, you'll see the gas will escape through this hole, go through here, and into the tube. A simple demonstration is just using an air compressor to blow gas down this tube. All it needs is a coat of gun bluing solution, and it's ready to go. 
Now, in addition to the smashing attachment that you saw before, I've also made three more attachments. I've made the cutting attachment, the piercing attachment, and I promised you guys a punching gun. So in order to be a true power fister, we're going to need a fist. So I sand cast my own fist out of aluminum and we could put it on the end just like this and start punching stuff. We're gonna be trying our first test. We've got the puncher on the end of this right here. Three, two, one. Oh, it punched it pretty good. There was like no resistance at all. <laughs> Look at your arm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the recoil is pretty intense. Okay, so that worked awesome. The watermelon was cool, but you know what's even cooler is the semi-automatic work. It actually chambered the next blank cartridge. So now we're gonna try it against this coconut. Alan Pan said that a coconut is a really good representation of a human skull. So first I'm gonna try it up here against the rock, and then I'm gonna try it on top of the backstop to see what happens. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> the fist shot right off. It sheared the pin that was holding it onto the piston, sheared the pin right off. So let's see the slow motion on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh gosh. My God. <laughs> the pin just sheared right off. All right, guys, we're locked and loaded. Now we're gonna try to smash this brick and see what happens. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, hold on. All right, so I think the problem was last time I had it too close. So I'm gonna try to have it a little bit farther back and hopefully it can build up some more speed. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa. Well, you sprayed me with some rock bits. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Well, I think that was pretty perfect. I don't think I could have asked for anything better than that. Why don't you smash the brick with the brick? <laughs> no, now it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Dude, you're just making sand. <laughs> so that was like one, two, three, four, five shots it, take, it took to break the brick. Pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, I think that's awesome. Seriously though, this thing is so crazy. It's like some kind of gun you'd find in Borderlands or like a zombie apocalypse movie or something. <laughs> It's the year 2044 and America has just elected Pokimane as the first female gamer president. Civil war has broken out and the gamers have split into two factions. Gamers who build PCs and gamers that bought PCs. There was also the mobile gamers, but they were sent to the gulag immediately. It doesn't have to be like this though. Micro Center has created a neutral zone where all gamers are welcome. Micro Center has created a neutral zone where all gamers are welcome. You can buy a PC there, you can build a PC from parts, you can even pick out all the parts and have them assemble it for you. Over 22 million IT professionals, gamers, makers, technology enthusiasts, local governments, students, engineers, everybody relies on Micro Center to get them the best selection of computer parts. Does your computer look like this? Well, it doesn't have to anymore. Get the best selection and best prices on PC components and other technology at any one of Micro Center's 25 locations across the United States. Have you ever bought RAM and tried to install it into your computer and then realized that it's the wrong kind and it doesn't fit? Join the Micro Center community to give and receive advice on PC hardware, part selection, and to discuss tech with other enthusiasts. Check out the Micro Center Custom PC Builder to spec out the best PC for your price point. All right guys, so check out the links down below in the description to visit Micro Center and enter your email address to get a free 32 gigabyte flash drive and a free 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Now we must smash on. I don't think this one got it enough. Now we can all tell that this is really good at smashing things, but it also has a bunch of legitimate purposes like stealing bicycles. All right, three. Two, one. In addition to breaking locks and stealing bicycles, you can also use this for doing some yard work. I've got the cutting attachment on here just like this, and we're going to be trying to cut down this tree branch right here because it's growing over into my neighbor's yard, and uh, hopefully it works. Three, two, one. Oh, finally. Four hits, look at that. In addition to cutting down trees, it can also be used for construction purposes. Let's hammer some screws. And in addition to constructing things, well, it can also deconstruct things. Sandra has been asking for me to remodel the bathroom. So uh, we're gonna go remodel it with this thing. Hey, Sandra. What are you doing? Didn't you want to uh, renovate the bathroom? Yeah. Hit the bathroom, baby. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. That one went in the wall. Then you went into the. What the f is going on? Did you get the grab bar? One. Oh. 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 Silly, this is going better than I thought it would. We only have this one giant hole in the wall. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Oh, you it. We probably shouldn't have destroyed that. Why? We could have just tiled over it again. <laughs> Coming through the door. Three, two, one. Oh, safety's on. Two, one. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Uh, all this demolition really tired me out, so I think I'm just going to leave leave the video here and just call it a night. <laughs> oh no! Locked in. <laughs> uh.